I wanted to tell you guys something um, I feel God put on my heart to tell you guys. Literally shaking, like I feel like I need to get this out. Um, I did put it on uh, Facebook as a post a while ago, but I feel like he wants me to share it in this way. So, um, fi- um, when I was 15, it was like a lot of years ago, um, I was at church and I was with my dad when he was still alive. Uh, he was our church organist and, um, um, I was, he was, he was practicing. It was a Saturday before Sunday, um, before the Sunday that he's playing at church. And, um, I was on the altar listening to him practice. And we have at church, we have a, we had a lamp, uh, the, we call it the eternal lamp. It was dedicated to my grandmother, um, when she passed and it flickers a lot so whenever we see it flickering we kind of um especially when my dad was playing the organ we like to think that that was her like just like smiling down on us and it was flickering a lot and my dad was playing and I was just looking at it I was just kind of just like in the moment listening to the music and just kind of looking at the lamp flickering and then on the altar we have a picture um, of Jesus and I looked over at it and it uh, he had a ginormous smile on his face like ear to ear the picture original picture he was not smiling he literally had a ear to ear smile on his face and like I I think I turned white and I kind of fell against the wall and I was just like I felt so much fear and wonder and love all at the same time and it was just I am kind of shaking just thinking about it that was like maybe it was 21 years ago and I'm still like and there would be a lot of times when I would be at church we'd be singing and I would look up at it and um, his picture, his face, <clears throat> it, it literally glows, like, it literally glows, like, there's, the, I even saw a Bible verse about it in Revelation, his face was as brilliant as the sun, and, um, and it, like, literally, it even looked like it kind of, like, it changed, like, the, the, the structure of his face kind of looked kind of diamondish, and that happens with multiple pictures, too, like, it, other pictures that I would see like it would would have like a very glowy feel about him and like very uh like pronounced features and it, it happens it it still happens it wasn't just like a one-time experience it, it happens like every day like that's one way I feel like he um lets me see him and feel him is through pictures because I'm a very I'm a visual person I'm a very visual person and um and I know he knows that and I think that's one um one reason why he allows that to happen and um it's just I can feel like when I'm looking at when I'm looking at his picture like I can feel like his presence it's like it's like a thick presence like I can feel it a lot of times it's just like overwhelming and um I have a I have a picture of Jesus that my uh that my cousin painted um on my on my book and every morning I just kind of like I literally just like put my head to it put my face to his picture and like a lot of times I would just like start crying like I literally kiss it sometimes hug it sometimes and I would just like ball over it and it's just um it's just an overwhelming feeling so um I really felt like I needed to uh like I feel like I really needed to um share that with you guys I feel like I I hope that it 
touches somebody and um, it's just it just makes me realize how real this is and I've always believed that Jesus was real and um, I've always had like some kind of connection with him um, but like lately like a couple of years ago it's just it got so much stronger and every time I would see some kind of connection or like he would reveal something to me it just like oh my gosh this this is this is real like I've, I've always believed it but like seeing it and believing it are two very different things um, so I really hope that this touches at least one person and um, I hope you guys have an amazing